as I went through some of the introductory classes I was taking at UNCA, I started to learn about how incredible the ecosystems that are present in Southern Appalachia really are. So we live in this really wonderful area that was never glaciated. And so over time, through the progression of ice ages, species moved back and forth across Southern Appalachia. And the physical geography created these niches where organisms could become really evolved to live here. So it's just one of the more biodiverse places in the world. What we were researching in this project is how decline in hemlocks from the invasive hemlock woolly adelgid is impacting below ground mycorrhizal fungus communities. When the hemlock woolly adelgid first infests a tree, it um, goes to the base of the needle and over time it halts the growth of the hemlock trees and then the trees will drop their needle and eventually die. We planted oak seedlings near the base of hemlock trees and the seedlings were acting as kind of like bait that would attract mycorrhizal fungi that were already growing around the hemlock trees. What we found so far was that mycorrhizal fungi between the two stands, the healthy and the declining stand, had a lower colonization rate in the declining stand by almost half. And over time, as tree species move in and replace the hemlocks as they die back, it will impact the growth of those new species. My professor and I worked on coming up with this project together. It's just such an incredible opportunity as an undergraduate student to be able to learn to conduct research and conduct research on experts in this field. Another really incredible thing about going to school here has been the power um, of the liberal arts degree I took an American Indigenous Studies class. In that class, I was introduced to the work of Robin Wall Kimmerer, who is an Indigenous woman, a bryologist, which means she studies mosses, and also an incredible writer. And she uses this term throughout her writing called the more than human world, which I think is a really incredible way of thinking about things. So it's not like nature, it's not this other that's separate from us, but it's this world that encompasses us and everything that's living and growing around us too, and is a more to me holistic way of understanding how I'm related to everything.